So here's a situation in the grove that just is not right. Uh, we have three trees right in a row here that are all chlorotic. Now, these trees used to look nice, and almost every other tree in the grove looks like it should, but these don't. Uh, you know, just a lot of, of problems with those leaves. I think that the main reason probably is that the soil in this area is too alkaline. Uh, so what I've been doing is spreading sulfur to lower the pH. I obviously need to you know, do some more of that because it's still, the new growth is still uh, not quite right. Uh, so there's always a risk, no matter where you plant your trees, that something might happen to them. And there's one tree behind here uh, that is one of the trees that has a sort of a special story to it. This tree here is one of the trees I made uh, about six years ago. I, you know, I grafted interesting scions, you know, of seedlings onto bigger rootstock, and then when they got big enough to sort of live on their own, planted uh, one or two in this area, and then a lot in the back of the grove. So this particular variety uh, we call lemon esh, and it had really nice fruit. I only had one season of fruit. That was a few years ago. Uh, last year didn't make any fruit. Uh, but the fruit was interesting enough that I like immediately made some scions and grafted it in on a pretty big tree trunk in the back of the shade house. So here's the lemon ash that I grafted to this tree uh, about two and a half years ago. Uh, as you can tell, it is looking very healthy, so completely different from the original lemon ash tree. So, you know, no matter what happens to this tree right now, at least it's still, you know, doing great in another area. Uh, but one other thing that's nice about this particular tree this year is that it seems like we might be getting fruit. Uh, it's only this one area of the tree that set fruit, uh, but that, as long as it keeps chugging along, we'll have at least a few fruit to try. So this is another thing we did to help this, these struggling trees. Uh, got a truckload of mulch. Uh, it has a lot of sticks in it, but everything rots. Uh, put a ton of it already in this area between the trees. And so we're gonna keep doing that uh, as soon as this wears down a little bit. And hopefully that will fix the uh, sad looking leaves on some of these trees.